Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. We are jumping in again and this time we're going to jump in and try out another run as the Tarnished Lost. I said I wanted to come back to this character and try and get a win as them. And honestly, I just really enjoy Lost characters. And with this one being new and a bit more interesting to people, I think this is a fun one to get going. We're going to start off right away by cracking our mantle and uh, trying to get a higher tier if we possibly can. Uh, if people don't know how this character works, you can go back and watch my first video, or I can quickly recap. Basically, the Divine Remnants Pocket Active is our mantle, but we can use it in order to charge it into a higher version of itself, and then using it on an item will re-roll it. The higher the version of Divine Remnants we have, the longer it takes to charge, therefore the harder it is to get our mantles, but the higher quality items we're likely to get. So. Pretty interesting concept for a character. I also gotta say, I absolutely love the sprite for this guy. Like, honestly, I think the sprite work for some of the characters hasn't been the best in the past. It's certainly improved drastically. Ooh, epiphany item, broken pillar. Rocks have a chance to be replaced with pillars. Pillars can be destroyed with tears dropping boulders that can be thrown at enemies. Intriguing. Intriguing. Okay. Um, decent to know, especially that they can be destroyed by tears as well. I like that. And then, yeah, we can throw these at enemies. And they're going to do the same damage as Samson, right? It's very similar. Luckily, interestingly enough, they do actually take on our tier effects, which is pretty good. Um, so our Divine Remnants is now charged. Now, what we can do here, I believe, is if we kill the boss, obviously if we don't get hit, first of all, but if we kill the boss, we can pop our Divine Remnants right before the boss dies to get straight up to a level 3 if I remember correctly. It's a little bit cheesy, but I think it is intended. Um, I'm going to try our best to do it and not get hit. So let's actually, let's try and leave the, the mini segment one alone first. And we'll take you out. And then we'll pop this. And then this should full charges off of the back of this. There you go. Look, and we get stable here. So now we have a max level divine remnants or at least what i think is max level one thing i'm unsure of is the little sprite down here sometimes it's like full of like a blue thing in the middle of the cup other times it's not and i'm not really sure what um what denotes whether it will be or not i, I honestly i'm i'm none the wiser so is it a good idea for us to utilize these i think it is you know i think it is especially considering we can usually use them from a reasonably safe distance. And as well, like, I think once we get some cool tier effects, we get some bouncy or splitting tiers, that might actually be really, really, really good. We got a lot of money, so I will check this out. As for the question of the day today, um, I, what's, let, let's think of a good one. Hmm. Hmm. What's your ideal living arrangement? Like, what's your ideal house? Or, like, what, 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 what would, if you were going to buy a house or live somewhere, what would be something, like, if you had all the money in the world, what would be something that you would really go for to try and uh, have your ideal arrangement for living? Okay, nice. I was hoping one of these would, uh, would drop a penny. Okay. We got a penny. I, I should have been more specific about the amount of pennies I wanted there, because the game listened to me. Eh, wasn't too happy with the result, though. Um, in here, ooh, hello, we got a penny in here as well. And I'm going to quickly see if we can find secret room here. Although, I'm not actually sure where it is, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. It seems like it would be right here. But that would be kind of odd, positioning-wise. Where else could we be looking here? I mean, as the Lost, I kind of want to min-max as much as I plausibly can. Not going to be here... It could be below from here. No, it couldn't, actually. Okay, so I think... I think we're looking at... I'll get this poop as well. I think we're looking at here for second secret room, but I prefer first secret room. So I actually think I am right in thinking it's next to the item room, which is weird, man. Weird. Give it a go, though. Give it a go. It's not there? Where the hell is it, then? Maybe it's next to the sack room? Either way... We, we do not have any resources left to mess around with that, so we shall take our leave. Should we go alt path? It's a bit risky, but I'm going to give it a go. It's a bit risky, but I'm going to give it a go. Especially considering we'll be using our Divine Remnants most likely on whatever item we get. Unless it's quality 3 or higher, I think I'm probably going to use it straight away. 
But good thing is, we are starting with higher damage here, and we got the stapler for a bit increased damage on top of that. Um, which is really nice. I think this character starts with higher damage, at least. I'm not entirely sure. I would imagine he does, as um, Tainted Lost does. And I think I, I, this guy's maybe a little easier than Tainted Lost if you don't interact with the, with the um, reroll mechanic. But if you do interact with it, I think he's actually quite a bit harder. Um, but the reroll mechanic just makes the character potentially more fun for me, so I'm definitely going to utilize it where I can. I'm very, very glad that we got our damage up early on. See, now that's a pretty obvious secret room right there, right? There you go, baby. And let's get in there. Okay, now we've got plenty of pennies to go spending at the shop. Plenty indeed. We like it. We love it. We want some more of it. I wonder what the chances are of gaining these pillars... It seems that I just want to say it seems that we're getting quite a few pair room. I think one interesting aspect of it actually that that sort of that I haven't really thought of is not just the throwables. It's the fact that every now and again rocks are going to get replaced with pillars, which on a character that doesn't have flight would actually be pretty useful. Generally, obviously on a flight character, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Interestingly enough, we can carry them into future rooms, which I think is very worth doing. So we should we should keep that in mind. To keep that in mind. Ooh, lovely for other characters, but not me. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, not the best room in the world for us here, but that poison will do a good bit for us. Try my best to, to keep these guys at bay. I think that'll kill us, so I'm not going to use that, obviously. Right. So, in here, we've actually got an item that I'm going to take. It's a pretty good active item. Like, the reroll there would have been good. Actually, that other active would have been good. The reroll there would have been good, but this is a pretty good active. Obviously, with it being based off our damage, we can do some pretty gnarly stuff with it. Um, and we will take Mother's Love. Um, we get a Soul of Love as well here. Swindler. Swindler can be pretty good. The Potato. One max HP recharges all your active items. That's a kind of an interesting idea, to be honest. There is a Tinted Rock there. I'm going to pop this just in case, see what it is. Degas. Good old Degas. But yeah, the Swindler. He's a nice little laddie. By the way, um, I did a run previously without Battle Fantasy on, and then I have re-enabled Battle Fantasy Unfortunately for the developer, it does seem to still be causing a little bit of lag. Um, it, it definitely seems to be exacerbated on the water rooms with the, the dudes. It's not like regular lag though. Normally it's just a generally lower FPS, but I'm getting like slight frame rate hitches. So there's definitely something to be looked into there. Can you see that? Watch when I'm moving. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like my character's like slowing down and speeding up a little bit. That's very, very strange. I'm hoping it doesn't get me killed. We'll, we'll, we'll try our best to not not get killed here. Oh, you big wanker. That attack's pretty hard to dodge. I'm dead. No way. I didn't see that guy. Okay, let's roll it back. Can't believe I didn't see that guy. Felt super obvious, but my brain was elsewhere, apparently. Yeah, Battle Fantasy, really, really cool uh, mod with some interesting items in it, but... I think it still has a little bit of optimization to be done, which is not a problem. Many mods have the same problem. Um, I think, as many of you will know by now, Isaac is not the easiest game to optimize. Um, not the easiest game to optimize at all. Interesting having these guys charmed. I wonder if we let them spawn their, uh, their whatever they have inside them, inside the cocoon. I wonder if it'll spawn charmed. I mean, I'm not going to give it enough time to find out, but... I'd be intrigued. Okay. These guys can be a little annoying for us here. Because they spew out a bunch of shots. Boom, bow. Item room is going to give us... Okay, so that's definitely a reroll right there. If we manage to make it that far. I'd like to kill you before I deal with anything else, to be honest. Kind of funny that you can push an enemy like that super close to the wall and just make them whiff all their shots straight into the wall. So remember, we can kill the boss to it for an instant level 3 Divine Remnants. 
as long as we don't get hit on the boss, which is, depending on which one we get, not always a guarantee. Are you f God damn it. Do you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold our on that one. Bad item room and bad start. I'm not, I'm not having that. So we actually don't start with any bonus damage as this character, which is kind of a shame. Snake is reasonably good. We'll take Snake. That is unfortunately very useless. I do like Snake though. Um, it can do some decent damage at the start of a room, especially early on. I kind of, it, it kind of sort of, it's, it's, it's kind of like having Tammy's head um, that does its own thing. It's the same sort of shot, same sort of amount of shots as Tammy's head. It's not an active, and it just kind of does its own thing, which we like. Only thing about Snake that's annoying is it likes to change targets pretty pretty rapidly, even when there's one target that it's hit that isn't dead. I'd that was close. I'd rather it not uh, not change targets until the original target is dead. But pretty neat. It's just not very good against bosses, obviously. It'll do a good bit of damage, but it's not going to be a ton. I wonder if it's, like, really good with piercing, because it does adopt your tier effects. It might be really, really good with piercing. Don't know which way is best to fight this guy. If he's best to fight while charging, or if he's best to fight while uh, the pooters are about. Luckily, Snake does respawn over the duration of the room, which helps. And there's a little, uh, a little blockade here for us. I'll pop this. Hope not to die. Good, good. We get max level. Now, I could reroll that into max level. And I am going to. Well, not max level, but like higher level. And I am going to. That's pretty decent fire rate increase there. And we'll look for secret room as well. You never know what secret room item is lying in wait. So I'm almost certain it's above here. But again, we must do our due diligence. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. There you go. And we get ourselves a little bit of extra pennies. And by a little, I really meant a little. Wow, that was a pretty pathetic, um, a pretty pathetic little uh, thingy there. Golden poop. Anyways, okay, this time we're definitely gonna go regular path because alt path, alt path bosses prove to be a little bit stinky. See, now we have the red tears queued up with our uh, thingy. Okay, this is a gross room right now. I do not like this. This little dude's gonna end up hitting me. I really don't like enemies that rotate around your character when you only can shoot in cardinal directions. <laughs> it's very gross. Look up there is kind of nice. And the item room shall provide us... Uh, how come I didn't get a charge for that last room? Weird. Anima Soul, or I'd say, is pretty goddamn good. Having one enemy per room not able to do anything for a little while, usually until we kill it, seems like it's going to be pretty good. Now, the, the enemy that it picks is going to be um, dependent on how close we are to them, so it's not always going to pick who we want it to pick. But even just removing one enemy from the equation early on is going to be nice, so I certainly don't mind it. Lovely stuff. Everything's going to get lit on fire here. Be careful. Honestly, Snake having one tier there scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like, there's one tier coming at me. There's Herbing. Stay back. I think it's best to just kill it straight away. See, like, what's Snake doing now? What, what, what are you doing? I'm going to pop this. I don't know what I got here. Oh, I got the one that's... Uh, that spawns pennies for everything we kill for a little bit here. So let's take advantage while we can. Or try to at least. See, that's the sort of enemy we want to be locking down. Because those guys are annoying as hell. I uh, don't think I'm going to... Um, nah, I don't think I'm going to do the boss yet. Because my Divine Remnants isn't ready. It's, it would seem unwise to me. Um, I'm also going to check this as well. Beautiful stuff. Some spinny pennies. Ah, we missed one of them. Not quite enough speed. Okay, but shop is definitely viable here. Let's go and take a little look-see. Let's go and take a little look-see. Where art thou, shoppy-shoppy? 
Ah, oh, really? You got the little dude? Ooh, we got a boss trap room here. Nice. Pentagram. Hell yes. This is risky, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, good. I was really hoping I could lock the boss down before he spawned anything. Makes him a lot, 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 lot easier. This guy's also really gross here, so let's use some bombs on him. Actually didn't do anywhere near as much as I was hoping. Really don't like this guy as a boss. He can do some really wild stuff. But luckily, he is doomed to failure. Okay. Pentagram there. Pretty good get. Pretty good get. And we can keep on moving to the shop here. Take you out. Lock you down. Adam of Soul is pretty beautiful here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And the shop. Isn't going to give us anything that great right now, but I will take this in the hopes of getting something good. Gotta love how Snake can push your bombs around. Um, Not great. We do have an uh, M. A golden M at that. Which I don't think does anything. Right, let's go and, uh, go and suss out the boss. But having the membership card, if we get the money to make it work, could be pretty good. So don't, do not mind having that early on. Right, so we want to do Empress straight away, then Anima Solar, and then our active before the boss dies. So, Empress is first up on the docket. Empress, Anima Solar before you spawn anything, and then that before we finish the room. Beautiful stuff, and then we get a damage multiplier, we like it, we like it. And then we get nothing and chests that deal damage to us. Ooh, that's very nice. Damage is doubled, but um, damage received is doubled. Well, we can't receive double damage. That just doubles our damage and nothing else. So that's pretty awesome. That's a very good trinket for us to grab there. Very happy to have you taken care of, roasted and toasted oh so nicely. Okay, this is this has become an interesting run here. This has become an interesting run. The fact that we just got this trinket is insane. I've never thought about just how good this trinket is on the Lost, but it is truly splendid. We do not have enough bombs to make this uh, mushroom work, unfortunately. Wow, it's uh, it's really trying it right now, isn't it? I mean, nothing can quite make up for double damage. Um, Crack Crown, we get the ability to gulp or hold multiple trinkets. I think Crack Crown could be uh, could be a contender. bomb there. As long as we lock down the annoying enemy first, I'm pretty happy. Ooh, that was kind of cheeky of you there. That was kind of cheeky. I don't have a lot of luck. Surprised to get some chest spawns there, but hey huh. That's a rather nice little opening. Yeah, all these rooms with water in them seem to be a lot more laggy. Like, I mean like significantly more laggy. I don't, like, the first floor didn't seem that bad, but the, this floor seemed fucking awful. I don't know what's going on with that, but they, yeah, they're, they're, they're really, really, really not nice at all to play on. Do not appreciate it. Honestly, Snake is messing enemies up right now. It's beautiful. Two golden chests is potentially pretty good. Oh, God, this lag. I'm definitely going to have to... Disable Battle Fantasy for now, which is a shame. I apologize for the developer. I like I like your mod, but seems to be causing some issues. Um, this is a reroll. Unfortunately, I actually think we can't even take that, which is a real shame. Like it's good, but I'm gonna kill myself with it. I know it. I love the item actually. It's an item I really like, but when it comes to my ability to not kill myself with stuff, that's not an item I'm confident in. We're going to have to play it safe and get into the charge here. I'll come back for you, Key. Long as we can get not too bad rooms and Anima Solar can help us out here, we shouldn't be too bad. The fact that I've got my boss coming up here is a bit rough. Luckily, I can do this. And I think this will just kill him outright. Yes, it will. What in the fuck? Okay. Well, that's good. 
And that's good. No. Um. Wait, what? I'm very confused right now. Why am I in a crawl space? What's going on? What the hell? Where did this come from? Uh, uh, that's weird. <laughs> right, anyways, we're going to have to go and do our, um, our boss trap room here. Oh, God, we've got a lot of damage right now. This lag's going to end up fucking killing me. I could just feel it. Stay out of here, you. <gasps> that was so unfathomably stupid of me. I mean, at least I survived it, but goddamn, that was very, very silly. Please, take me away from this watery grave. The lag. I've had lag this bad in a really long time. You can see, I, like, even at 60 FPS, I think you guys will be able to see it in the video. I'm hitching as I'm moving. It's, it's wild. Is there anything in my console? Doesn't look like it. Anyhow, down to the next floor. Not feeling good about my performance on that floor. Really should have gone back to try and buy a battery, to be honest. Um, we should be back in the, back in the realms of no lag now. I think. Let me do some testing after I've killed this guy. How are we looking on this room? Nah, I'm still getting it. I'm still getting hitches. Like I said, I can't guarantee that it is Battle Fantasy. So I do apologize to the developer if it's not. It just, that's what it makes sense that it was. Because that's the only new mod I've installed, really. Man, this is... Very hairy, very scary. Oh, I can take those hearts. I did not realize I could. That's kind of nice. Right, I know I've got a secret room there, but I want to use this damage while I've got it. That's not even remotely worth fighting bosses for. I'm sorry, game. You, you've, you have not tempted me into a, into a room there at all. You have not. Pills are just not it right now for us either. Snake, you can do this. Nope, you can't. Thought you had my back, Snake. On rooms like this, you really got my back. Holy shit. <laughs> this, oh my god, Snake. Look at him go. Okay. Rerolling items is done. <laughs> I think re-rolling items is officially over. As long as we can survive this next room, it's all about the Holy Mantle. It's all about the Holy Mantle. And getting our fire rate up. Snake is going to go fucking crazy here. Snake going wild. I don't even know what happened in this room. Is this room meant to have enemies in it? I'm actually pretty happy with this, to be honest. Snake, why do you go for the bombs that I place down? Is that some sort of addiction you have? Leave it. Leave them be. Leave them the hell alone. Ooh, tears up, range down. Our range isn't amazing. Oh, it's 27. It's kind of expensive, but I can. we do kind of need a tears up here, so I'll take it. Obviously, remember, we've got a water bottle right now, so our tears look better than they should. But this is a pretty kind of crazy run damage-wise. 98 damage. I mean, it is doubled by our trinket, but still. This is pretty incredible. We're going to have not too hard of a time with bosses because the snake is just going to decimate. And I mean decimate the boss. Considering we now basically have piercing as well. That doesn't do anything for us. Um, we'll just take the damage here and the fear shot. There you go. 13 damage we gained there. Although, 
I have to say, that has made Snake visually quite horrible. <laughs> Heart shit balloon. I don't think that does anything for us here. I do kind of want to re-roll it, but I'm scared. Oh, no. Why would you do that to me? I re-rolled it and it still wasn't good. Okay, right, Snake, I'm gonna need you to, like, try. Just try a little to help me out here. Oh my god, visually, Dark Marker was a mistake. I can't fucking see anything. I can't see jack shit. It's going to be a little bit horrible for some time. Um, I don't actually know what item this could be that it's changing here. Ooh. I think that's going to be good for us here. Yes. Black market in every shop. That means we can get some free items. Only one from each black market, but still. We are one-shotting pretty much everything at this point. So we're, we're good on that front. Don't jump. Thank you. Okay, we're back to having a holy mantle again. You're dead. That's a haunted chest as well. I see you. I see you. God damn, Dark Marker. Why? Dark Maker, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of that item. Is it Dark Marker or Dark Maker? I literally never remember. Anyways, Dark, whatever. Go do your thing, please, Snake. This is one where I need your help. Thank you. <laughs> Did not want to get involved with any of that. Oh, hello. I think I'm just going to bomb you both, to be honest. Eh! How dare you? Do not do it again. Fucking why? The contraband. I think I'm just going to leave contraband here. Why does it... It knows. It knows where you place the bombs and intentionally pushes them. I, I, I swear it. This is insane. This is such a wild run. Don't like that. But there you go. Swiftly taken care of. And then, yes, in here to go to a black market. Right. What do we want out of this? Hmm. It's kind of tricky. Converts any trinket to golden trinket on use while held doubles. I'm going to try. This might be a waste, but I'm going to see if this doubles our double damage. It fucking does. Hell yes. <laughs> it was a gamble. But my god, was it a good one. They some big daddy tears right there. They some big daddy tears. Oh, it's a big chest as well, although I don't think we have anywhere near enough keys to open that bad boy. Kind of a horrible room here. Wait, how does this room work naturally without flight? I don't understand that room at all. Really? It locked down the pipe? Thank God she was easy to kill. It locked down the goddamn pipe. Um, thank you, I guess. Oh my lord. <laughs> it gives us plus 84 damage when we're in its radius. Holy shit. <laughs> I get up to 256 damage. This is fucking wild. Oh my god. This is fucking stupid. Literally, the only thing that's going to kill me now is my inability to fucking see. just can't see anything. Lowest stat is fire rate, hell yes. And then I guess I will take a chaos card. Get 
stay away. Don't know if that'll work for us. Don't want to find out. More fire rate. Good stuff. The mask still moves. That's not okay. That's... I can't fucking hit the heart because the mask's in the way. My god. Hello. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. Treasure disc. Treasure disc. Literally cannot see the enemy whatsoever. Could you pop your head up, please? Thank you. Mysterious liquid with this much radius is going to be kind of insane. Oh my god. Get out my face, you stupid. Like, I was just. Oh my no. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Snake. You're both beautiful and disgusting. You're my beautiful nightmare. My goodness. <laughs> Please, don't ever, ever let me take Lump of Coal. I am very scared for what happens if I take Lump of Coal. It will be very bad. <laughs> It's pretty funny, though, this. The fact that this run is, like, fucking god tier, and I'm going to end up dying because I can't fucking see. Hilarious. Give me Godhead. That would be pretty amazing. Although, actually, I think Godhead is fixed damage now rather than based on your damage stats, so it actually might not be that good. But the Herming... The Herming would still be welcome. Really? You tanked all of that. Ooh, you cheeky haunted chest. You cheeky bugger. What's in here? A little haunt. We just had you. Not permanently. I don't even know where the enemy is in this room. Is that it? Nope, it's not. Don't much care for that money. There's a ghost in this room. Fuck knows where. It's dead, apparently. What the hell's this little matchstick here? Little Inferno. Sets all aims on fire. Blows up all slot machines, beggars, enemy tears, and bombs in the room burning. Ooh, it's kind of interesting. Um, I think I'll buy this, because just knowing where the secret rooms is going to be kind of nice. And in here, what we got going on? Anything that's going to be particularly quite good for us? Um, not particularly. If I had a, if I had some charges, I'd, I'd just re-roll them all, but I don't. Um, does give us some tears and a little bit of damage. I'll go for that, I guess. Eight damage. This is mainly the tears I care about, though. The tears are pretty good here. There is actually a battery charge there as well. Don't do it. Fucking get away from my goddamn bomb. You're the worst. I hate you. I hate... I hate you. Thank you. God damn it. Why is it so attracted to my fucking bombs? It's like it does it on purpose. Good. We could probably just do Void straight away. <laughs> Get away with it. I will check what's going in in Boss Rush, because why the hell not? Nothing of value there, really. I don't think you can Chaos Card Delirium, so I'm not going to do that. But I think I could. <laughs> I definitely think I could. It's just absolutely wild to think that we've got a trinket that's giving us, like, over 100 damage. Like, if we drop this trinket now, yeah, we lose 113 damage if we drop the trinket. 113 damage from a trinket. That is 
absolutely ludicrous. We're, get, we're gaining more damage out of our 179 from a trinket than we are from all of our items combined. How did I not get hit there? Yeah, let's, let's not with this room. I do not like these umbilical cords coming after me. I'm just surprised I haven't had a mantle hit in a while. With this glowing green sun following us, I am very, very surprised. This is a very wild run. A very wild run indeed. This feels like pre-Repentagon days in terms of lag. <laughs> By the way, you may have seen that I started doing some shorts. I'm going to try and do them a little bit, just, just to see what engagement's like on them. They're not going to be like main form content or anything like that. It's just going to be like offshoots of what I'm currently doing on the main channel, like excerpts from the videos I already make. And just see if it reaches a wider audience sort of thing. It might, it might not. I don't. I literally didn't even get time to use Anima Solar there. Didn't even let me if I wanted to. What we got here? Both actives, unfortunately. Removes all of your red heart containers. If you have less than six, gives you more soul hearts until you have six of them. Gives a negative damage multiply on repeated use. Has a special synergy with Black Feather. Okay. Not my bag. I could, I could re-roll them, but... As I said, the re-roll mechanic is something that you use until you feel comfortable, and then you play out the rest of the run as I see it. That's how I think it's best used. You use it while you're in struggles, because then if you're still struggling, it doesn't matter if you lose the run. Whereas as soon as the run's guaranteed and in a good spot, what the hell? Why oh, that's here get so much bigger? As soon as it's in a good place, kind of guaranteed, at that point, you can stop re-rolling and just sort of curse on what you have. Again, don't know how I didn't get hit there. My goodness, this is... This is something else. But yeah, I'll definitely be making a short regarding this run. Because <laughs> this is something to behold. The fact that I'm getting so much damage from a trinket is obscene. Not taking anything that risks... There's a risk to me, so those, those discs are... Uh, they could give me an Isaac's heart or something funky. I'd rather not have any of that, please. I've actually got a really good fire rate for this setup as well, which is wild. Beautiful stuff. Do I want to do Hush? It's super, super, super risky. And I have no real reason to do so. But I just want to see if I can. Also, I do have a Chaos card for the second phase, so... Which I think you can use in the second phase. If I can actually manage to hit it, I, I do often whiff my Chaos cards. So, we'll see. I was going to take Akeldama, but I don't think I actually have the Akeldama Synergy mod on, because that would have been wild. Do you get a... Oh my god, Toy Drum. Holy shit, that'd be wild right now. Car battery is pretty good. We've only got three items here. Tear detonator. Ooh, my lord. That might be a little spicy. Although I think it would kill Snake. But I'm willing to give it a go. That could be pretty good. I could actually skip Hush if I wanted to. But I'm not about that life right now. Oh, I got a restock machine? I didn't even realize. That would have been so good. <laughs> Oops. Um, I guess I'll crack open one of these. There you go. Hoping for more keys. I want toy drum so badly. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to bomb this guy, but I know it's not going to fucking let me. Don't you dare push that bomb into me. You're a, you're a heathen and a shit. So it's impossible to bomb what you want to bomb here. Anyhow, right, let's go in.
Honestly, I might just end up taking my Holy Mantle damage straight away here because I can't see anything. Okay, luckily we've got rid. Okay, so that's him dead. There you go. We got it. We got it. We Chaos Carded him. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tier Detonator here should be pretty saucy. Should be pretty saucy. Go up. I'm definitely not doing Delirium here. A water bottle. A troll bomb. The good thing is now we can actually tear detonate just to get rid of the snake. And it'll I think this is actually a really good combo, to be honest. I think this will always kill everything in the room because we've got spectral. This is tear detonate is going wild here. Obviously on bosses it's not gonna be quite as good. Or apparently in rooms like this, it's not quite as good. I don't know why that didn't hit him. Let's get some keys here. I love the uh, edge of the room getting covered in poison here. This is just wild. Another key there. I'm just going to quickly go back and check secret room here. If I fucking can. Luckily, I was able to. Poison shots. Hey, that's my fourth key. Awesome. There. Through we go. Alright, we've got a restocker machine, remember, here, so we can reroll in some better stuff, potentially. Um, right, let's pop this. I think I'm actually going to reroll all of these, to be honest. None of these really help me that much. Gives on all stats up for the room on use. Chance to petrify enemies at random for a duration. That's not very good for us, either. Wider tears. <laughs> there you go. Good old tear size up. Why not? Uh, crystal shard turns tears into piercing pink crystals. Whenever a tear hits an enemy for the first time, spawn three crystal shard tears from the enemy, which have high shot speed and can spawn more crystals. Each crystal shard. Oh my god, that could be amazing. Um, when shooting every three seconds, uh, ah, let's try and reroll a little more here. Why do you have to be the way that you are? Oh god, the, uh, the noise of these crystals is, uh, not great. Ah, the finger is constantly triggering the effect. I don't think that's intended. That's why the noise is so, like, insane right now. I apologize for this slight ear kerfuffle. Well, this is going to be the rest of the run here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to die to this kingpin here, aren't I? Don't you dare kingpin me. Thank you. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. Um, remove finger. We can't be having that. That's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. But with finger, my goodness, that's like once in a little while. Completely fair. Quite a nice, pleasant sound, actually. But literally, constantly, not my bag. Not, not what I enjoy to hear. Right. Get out of here. Don't know which way we're going, to be fair, here. You are alive somehow. I do not know how.
What's going on here? What's what's alive? Oh, there's a Skolex in here. <laughs> Cheeky little Skolex. I, I didn't even look at the boss bar. I was just like, excuse me. Why did I use that so early? I'm kind of curious just to go out of this room and grab the devil card to see how much damage that gives me on the boss fight because I feel like it will be quite a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, the green. The green, baby. I just can't believe the stuff that survives. I honestly can't. Beautiful stuff. Wow. Yep, there you go. Right, Devil card. Gives us like 138 damage with that. I could still die on this, to be fair. I mean, he has some pretty annoying attacks and he has boss armor. But we should be okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was, uh... oh, do you know what? Do you know what? What time are we are? No, let's do Void. Why not? I was going to end it there, but what kind of person would I be if I deprived you of such beauty? Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to find our way here is the biggest, my biggest worry right now. I love the noise, actually. The noise is really nice when it's not literally constantly. It's actually quite pleasant. I do enjoy it. At first, I was like, oh my god, what has this person done to this item? This is horrible. Re then realized it was just the finger bu bugging out on it. I have a feeling what I'm going to end up losing my mantle to is walking into a spiked rock that I can't see. That seems likely right now. Who's left in this goddamn room? You apparently. Okay, please let us find a boss soonish. Do your thing, go on. Do your little charge. Or oh, enemies that have on death effects could also be pretty bad for us, to be fair. Goodness. <laughs> Where is a boss? How have we not found a single boss yet? This is horrible. We're good? We're good. You can kill a full L shape room in one go if you if you shoot right. Oh, giant props is uh giving us an error. I don't think I've ever had an error from giant props before. Let's actually see what that is. I think it tried to spawn a giant prop in this room and couldn't or something. How did you survive that? How have we not found a single boss yet? What's going on? This is wild. I This is one of the reasons everyone hates Delirium. Like, I've, I've been through so many rooms. How is there no boss yet? Come on now. That's a dead end too. Beautiful. Are we gonna explore this whole side of the map and find not a single boss? Seems very much that way at the moment. Lovely. We good? We are not good. As a palty. Finally a boss. Boy, 
deck. Not very good for us, unfortunately. Right. I just... Tear Detonator is such a great item on certain runs. It's not always good, but it can be very, very strong. <laughs> Some of those items, I think, goes quite under, under the radar a lot of the time. But it can make some runs insane. It's just better Tammy's head sometimes. Yeah. Another boss. Ooh, that's very useful for us right now. Thank you. What you got for us? Don't, don't think we want Killer Instinct right now, especially as an active item. That's two for two on the active items. You thought I needed a kill switch. I am the kill switch. Eh, doesn't matter for us. Unfortunately, our items thus far have not been of much use to us. I, the, the, the noise of this item is so unbelievably pleasant now. Just need to fix that weird interaction with the finger. There should be another route to a boss here, I think. Yes, I thought so. Hey, finally a speed increase. Man, I've been waiting on that for ages. Here, here's that boy. Didn't quite insta-kill him, which scares me. I was kind of hoping we would. But remember, we will get another charge in good time. Ooh, that was close. He teleported actually out of my way then. That was kind of good. I'm having a really hard time finding him and keeping an eye on where the tears are here, so forgive me. Okay, tear it in it is ready again. I just need to find where the fuck he is. I think we're good. No, that wasn't a kill. Wow. How was that not a kill? Where are you, Delirium? Where the fuck are you? How are you doing this attack? There you go, baby. Oh, there you go, baby. That's what we call the goddess of god tier runs, man. That is a run like no other. Holy goddamn. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was absolutely fantastic, and I'll see you guys in the next one.